we welcome you to the 2024 Eagle Classic Golf Tournament held at the Cota de Casa Golf and Racquet Club in Cota de Casa, California. Hi everybody, I'm Paul Higgins. It was a busy day as hundreds of golfers signed up to play in what has become a must-to-do event. This tournament is the primary fundraiser for sports teams and programs at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. The golfers eagerly ventured out to their starting tee in this shotgun event, being held on both the north and south course. Golfing got underway on a beautiful Monday morning. Players were paired in groups of four and they would play the best ball. And they would play for the cause of Catholic education, the sports teams, and programs at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. Yeah, the big point you just mentioned is the cause, so I'm a big fan of Catholic education and uh, the result of that, and we're making future great citizens, making men and women. So I'm so proud to be part of that whole process. And it looks like you've met a couple new friends today, and uh, your golf game's off to a good start. Tell me about just the camaraderie about being out here with other guys and golfing. Yeah, I've been a member out here for 20 years, and so I've always appreciated the camaraderie, as you mentioned. And uh, so here we have it, uh, once again. One good putt leads to another. A camera catching all the action, no big deal and no pressure for John McKeon. Nicely done, an alum with great history. So we've actually been fortunate enough to be part of this actually for the groundbreaking. I was actually there at the groundbreaking, was able to graduate the class of 91, uh, have a, a son that graduated, and now have a daughter that's a senior. So it's, uh, it's important for us to understand, to give back, and to teach that to our kids as well. So I'm, uh, my son's playing in the tournament today for the first time ever. And it's just a great group of people that understand uh, what's taking place and it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity for us. Tell me about that putt. So I don't golf. I golf maybe once a year and uh, when you don't golf once a year and you're in a scramble format like this and you get to hang out with a bunch of buddies and your son, you get up there and have fun. And that's what this is all about. I get to see football coaches that I haven't seen for years, athletic directors, uh, friends, parents, colleagues, class, ex-classmates. So for me, it's just a great time to uh, spend some time and give back to Santa Margarita that's given so much to me. John's son, Jack, showed he too has game, trying to one-up his dad for the sake of the team. He almost drops this putt, so close. Over the years, there are a lot of repeat players in the tournament, and there are newcomers like Jason Murray, who entered it for his first time. Yeah, well actually this is my first one. So I got a daughter, freshman, who's uh, playing softball and got me here. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been phenomenal so far, a beautiful day. You know, I can't, can't beat it. Your thoughts about the camaraderie, just meeting new guys and, and being on the course for one day and, and just maybe making friendships that will last, you know, at least through the four years of high school. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's what I'm looking forward to. You know, I've actually gotten to meet quite a few guys at the beginning that I know will be around for the next at least six years for me. I got a little guy still waiting in the wings. So, no, I'm looking forward to it and love the school. Uh, always been a big fan. Being a fan of Santa Margarita Catholic High School is easy, knowing that your child is receiving a top tier education and one that is setting them up for the future is a win win. I think out of all the choices um, that we had in Orange County, this was by far the best choice for our child, and she's excelling very well. Um, great group of friends, and uh, we're just really happy she's here. Your thoughts about playing in the tournament? You, you meet guys that you haven't seen before and maybe become friends with, and just the camaraderie. It's not about how well you hit the ball, it's just about how much fun you have. I just think it's uh, it, there's a lot of talent out here for sure, but uh, the camaraderie is amazing, and a great group of guys for a great cause. In 1991, Andy Sulik was part of the first graduating class from Santa Margarita. Now he's the president of the school, and no one values that of a Catholic education more than Andy. And that's why this event is so important. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, first and foremost, you know, the Santa Margarita community comes together, and we absolutely love getting everybody together. Uh, it's super great to see alumni, stakeholders from the beginning of the school all the way to the present. Uh, it's one of my favorite days of the year, and I think it's so uh, speaks to the community that we have, the people that are a part of it, and the long-lasting relationship. Just a side note today, Grant Calcaterra is here. I mean, here's a guy that's now played in a Super Bowl and obviously remembers his SM roots and he brings some buddies back to play. So just, just an example of how the community comes together. Uh, and I just, I always love this event. It's certainly a great event for a great cause. And along with it comes some outstanding golf and some that just play to play. 
hundred percent. Yeah, there's definitely guys that are going to shoot 15, 16, 17 under, and then there's a bunch of us that are just out here playing golf with some friends. And, and in certain cases, they, it's a yearly thing where they've been playing five, six, seven, eight years together. And it's just, it's been a great event since we started. We changed this format in 2014, uh, but not only does it raise uh, a lot of money for Santa Margarita athletic programs and other programs, but it raises uh, just a lot of friendship uh, and a lot of. Uh, guys that just want to hang out and ladies that just want to hang out and enjoy our community, which is a real special one. For Andy, this is a family affair, one that he appreciates and definitely feels blessed with the opportunity. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So I've got uh, I've got my dad uh, playing with me today. i got my brother, who's class of 93, uh, and I have my two sons. So Noah's not in school today, sorry, uh, Dean's office. Uh, and then uh, obviously having Drew home from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. So it's great to do it. And then with Noah being a senior and the last time that I'll have someone that's actually a current student at SM, uh, it's pretty special. Special is also the fact that Andy gets to play with his younger brother, Tim, who graduated in 1993 from Santa Margarita. I asked him what he gained most about going to SM. Well, I think what I took most from Santa Margarita was uh, the power of people to influence your life, truly. And as I, as I gain in my career and experience with other people, I'm most thankful for those that took time to mentor me to get to where I was gonna be in life. So any chance we have to give back and support those that supported us is one of the best things I can do. So I'm just, I'm just grateful to have fun, see a lot of alumni, super proud of my brother. And uh, if you can give back with a, a smile like that, I, it's a winning, it's a winning day. And Tim agrees that he's blessed to be able to play with his dad his brother, and his two nephews. Uh, again, extremely fortunate to see uh, my two nephews who are both college athletes, played football, a uh, tremendous uh, source of pride, you know, uh, and, and certainly eclipsing anything we did. And to have my dad out here to, as a capstone is just, uh, I'm extremely lucky, extremely fortunate to be here. Tim provided some great wisdom about his days at Santa Margarita Catholic High School. Again, I think it goes back to uh, becoming an adult and realizing how many people were actually looking out for you when you probably didn't realize it. It makes me extremely fortunate, yeah, absolutely. And when I get a chance to see some of the coaches that are still here, the athletic director, certainly my brother, again, uh, feel very fortunate to have that net of security kind of surrounding me the whole time. Santa Margarita receives support in many ways and local restauranteur Dave Hanna knows the value of Santa Margarita and its students. Absolutely. Well, Santa Margarita, our future leaders come from that school, so it, it's uh, vital for us to provide them the tools, the inspiration, the drive, and just, you know, just open up uh, the possibilities, really, to change our world and change society. Well, it's, it's all about just, uh, you know, enjoying the moment, playing with your buddies. Uh, you know, this is therapy for me. So, uh, you know, we're still trying to hit good shots and, and, and make our putts, but at the end of the day, it's about relationships and the Santa Margarita community. All in all, this day is about fun, and you don't have to be an ace golfer to play. There's always creative ways to get the best shot. And on holes four on the north and eight on the south, Land Rover Riverside sponsored a hole in one. No vehicles were handed out on this day, but boy did it provide incentive for a great tee shot. One hole in one was definitely worth a donation as the helicopter ball drop offered up a winning payday of $5,000. Here we are at the moment everybody's been waiting for. Let's find out who the winner is of the helicopter ball drop. Closest color, blue stripe. In the hole, 35. Blue stripe, 35. Lauren, who's our winner? Let's see, blue stripe, 35. Kathleen Braum. Congratulations, Yay. Kathleen. Thank you so much, everybody who participated, and Kathleen will be in contact with you very soon. Thanks, everyone. Congratulations also goes out to the two foursomes that won on both the North and South course. For these eight, they are the defending champs and have one year of bragging rights before they defend their titles. We also want to thank all of our sponsors for your support. It is greatly appreciated. amazing day as everyone was a winner. Dozens of gift baskets were on display as the tournament ended with a dinner and silent auction. 
The 2024 Eagle Classic Golf Tournament was a huge success, as we're already anticipating next year's event. We congratulate everyone that played. Thank you for your contribution, as well as we thank the SM staff and volunteers for making this day possible. From the Cota de Casa Golf and Racquet Club in Cota de Casa, California, I'm Paul Higgins. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.